The Pacific coastline, fresh salty sea air, and endless possibilities of reinventing yourself. I'm trying to meet up with my homeboy Jeffy at the Hooter Dome for 420 Fest, but apparently I'm on the dudes that can't fly list? Dude. So now I'm here. I guess. Traveling by trains, forward progress at a moderate pace. Enough time to enjoy the sights, but still feel like you're making noticeable headway towards your destination. Oh come on, this thing's going like 35 miles per hour. Sammy Hagar can't even ride this train. Well, I guess that's a plus. Washed up chump. Not only are the rails a perfect platform for self-discovery, they also lend themselves to interacting with various facets of the patchwork that is humanity. The people watching here is slim pickings. This lady's been talking about her daughter for three hours now. I get it. She plays basketball. She has a hat. Her back hurts. Where's the sauce, man? Where's the sauce? Catching a glimpse into settlements created by people 50 to 100 years ago makes one wonder how many dreamers have wandered through these corridors of our existence. Man, I am really wondering what those buttons do. Do they page service? Turn on disco lights? Eject you out of your seat? I bet you any money that it cracks, hisses, and does nothing. Broke ass train. Seeing the countryside by locomotive stirs up an inherent longing to document the experience in the vein of Hemingway, Twain, or Jules Verne. The possibilities are endless. The train version of Sky Mall is bonk. And here I was, ready to fliff money on a garden gnome with laser eyes, and yet, there's nothing for sale. Just a bunch of warnings and crap. Ground mall? More like just ground. Dumb. The constant influx of the changing scenery reminds me to live in the here and now and savor this moment. Seriously? No service? Even the sweaty Chinatown bus to Atlantic City had some guy strapped to the roof holding a Wi-Fi antenna for dear life. I'd kill for some Boingo right now. Just a little bit of Boingo. Please? The slow rumble of the shuttle provides comfort in its simplicity. Aw, oh, sweet! An aluminum footrest! And it's broken. Of course. How am I supposed to relax now? Do I have to take another ten Valiums? The momentary motionless we experience in the station makes me yearn for this journey of self-discovery to never end. Can I get off now? Please? I swear, I'll become an upstanding citizen, whatever that is. I could work in that building, start a new life, Wash my car- oh, come on, man! Wherever you find your consciousness drawn, there is something to enamor your senses and engage you as part of the universe, experiencing itself. Oh, hey, that guy's looking at something. What's he looking at? I'm sure it's something cool. Probably like a huge pair of boobies or a UFO or something. Man, I could be looking at that boob FO if only you'd stop hogging the window. Jerk. Retracing the steps of pioneers and explorers allows us to find our own discoveries of wonderment and awe. Ew, what does this button do? Alright, that was kind of cool, I guess. I'll give you that, but only that. Seeing how fragile precious commodities are taken for granted reinforces the sense of gratefulness for everything we consume. Everything the light touches. I keep going to the bathroom every 10 minutes just to watch the toilet flush. Everybody thinks I'm on cocaine, but really, I just love this toilet. Blech. Looking out at the natural world can provide countless moments of unmitigated beauty that frees the mind from the shackles it's created for itself. Well, at least there's free direct TV. Oh, of course. It's covered up with carpet. And I'm like, woo, going to Seattle. What now? I'm bored. Bored. And I'm done being your bored. travel companion if you can't Still take a bored. moment to separate yourself bored. from your everyday bored. concerns. Bored. 
Still bored. 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 <laughs>